Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Super excited because today Minecraft for the Nintendo Switch has finally arrived and I'm very excited because Minecraft on the PS Vita was one of my favorite versions of Minecraft, mainly because I could bring it around anywhere. But the nice thing about Minecraft Switch Edition is that I can spend most of my time playing with it docked and then when I want to go somewhere else and play in the same world, I don't have to use a cloud save or anything, my data is right here on the console. So I literally just pull it out straight from the dock and then I can jump straight back into playing Minecraft Switch. Create world, let's give it a new name, let's just call it whatever, I don't know. Yep, that's totally my credit card details. We're going to have survival mode or creative mode, let's stick with survival mode for now. Now uh, difficulty goes all the way up to hard and let's see, more options. Now here's one of the things about Minecraft Switch is that people are saying that it's, you know, not quite as good as the PS4 or Xbox One versions because it doesn't go up to the large size, but for me, medium size is already dozens of times larger <laughs> than what I had on the PS Vita. I've seen a few videos about this on the internet, but I haven't seen many videos showing it in handheld mode, and I think that's the most exciting part of this. So this is Minecraft for the Nintendo Switch. If you've been playing Minecraft for a number of years, then you already know what's going on, but essentially I just wanted to show you how it feels to play in handheld mode, how comfortable it is. The buttons are essentially, Y opens the crafting interface, B is to exit. Unfortunately, B is not also jump. I would have expected that to be jump. A is for jump, and what does X do? X brings up your inventory. 60 FPS, nice and buttery smooth. Of course, on the PS Vita, it was a great version of the game. I really loved everything about it, except for the fact that the frame rate ran at uh, essentially somewhere around 30 or somewhere under 30 FPS, but this is doubling it. And that makes a big difference because on the Android and iOS versions, <laughs> like, they are consistently at 60 FPS, so playing on the PS Vita, which is, I don't know, it's a bit of a more feature-rich version in my opinion, and yet we had to play at a lower frame rate, but now we have a handheld controller version of Minecraft. Of course, if you had an iPad mini, you could have attached a little controller to it and had, I don't know, a very similar experience with potentially <laughs> a larger screen, but for the fully integrated console version of the game, this is what you have, and it looks great! Okay, so I've got a bit of wood here, but this is a bit of a surprise. I was expecting to be able to use the D-pad to move between the items down here at the bottom. I can use touch as well, but in fact, it looks like you have to use the L and R buttons. I don't know if there's a way to change that. Controls? Swap B and A. That's interesting, so for people who are familiar with maybe the PS Vita layout. If you press swap B and A, then B becomes jump, which I much prefer, and A is to chuck things. Oh, I, I much, much prefer that. B is definitely the place where I would like to have jump. Let's open up the inventory, not. Let's open up the crafting interface. And this is something, that's an, another nice part about, a nice thing about the console version, is that you don't have to know how to, how to craft things. Other people will say that maybe that's a little bit of a cheat, but personally it just makes my life easier to not have to remember every recipe. Build myself a pickaxe, and <laughs> it's perfect. The screen size is great, all the icons, I think they're at a, a, you know, relatively fair size. Now you can see if you go up quite high like this and you have a look around that the draw distance is not quite as, quite as good as apparently when it's docked. I hear that when it's docked you actually can see a bit further out, but the draw distance is not quite as wide when you're in portable handheld mode, but again, no big deal. No big deal for me, personally. It may, it may bother you, but it personally doesn't, doesn't bother me too much. Yeah, unfortunately you can't actually change the inventory with your thumb. That would be nice, but they have not created that feature. And I think the reason they've done that is so that the experience is consistent on the docked version and on the handheld version. Obviously it would be kind of confusing if, you know, you had touch interface on one mode and then not touch interface when you go back to the docked mode. That would be kind of confusing. Oh, I have noticed a little bit of slowdown. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... Just for your information, there is slowdown every now and then, and I don't know exactly when it crops up. Maybe if you do too much of this, if you start spinning around 
too constantly. You will notice a few frame drops and frame rates here, like this, like the frame rate is going down a bit. It could just be that I'm quite high up. That's interesting. Okay, I was not expecting that. I don't think that it's unfixable. I'm, you know, Minecraft is one of those things that constantly, constantly evolves, and there are no patches as yet. It has just released, but there is no day one update or anything that I, or at least, you know, no update that I'm aware of. But yeah, I just thought I should point out that it does have a little bit of slowdown issue if you spin around a bit too much, and I'm not actually doing anything intensive at all, really. I mean, of course, spinning around is kind of intensive, but it's not like I'm in a heated battle or anything, so a little bit surprising there. But let's hope that Microsoft, Mojang, and 4J, all of them are on the case. All right, one last thing I want to try before we go is to go into creative mode. All right, so I'm in creative mode now and I'm just going to zoom around so you can see how beautiful it looks even in handheld mode. Not experiencing too much slowdown while zooming around like this looks pretty good. But the reason I've come into creative mode is because one of the things I like to do the most in Minecraft, and I'm not saying that I'm good at it, but one of the things I like to do the most is using redstone to come up with devices and that sort of thing. All right, and we have electricity. So I'm not an exactly an expert at Minecraft, but I do really enjoy playing it and being able to have it on the Switch is absolutely wonderful. You can click the analog stick in and change the view as before. I don't think you could do that on the PS Vita. I think you had to press a different button because the analog sticks actually don't click on the PS Vita, which is a bit of a bit of a full, full, full back, full down, downfall. Whoa! Now this is exciting. I have just not been playing Minecraft recently, so this is very, very new to me, but being able to fly around like this, this is wicked. Whoa, whoa, I crashed. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. This is, this is epic. Though something I wish would happen is I wish it would go into inverse look when you end up in flying mode, because as soon as I'm flying, my brain wants to, my brain wants to invert the mouse. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Minecraft for the Nintendo Switch. Does run at a smooth 60 FPS most of the time. In the current build of the game, there is a little bit of slowdown issue coming up here and there, but let's hope that the, the developers are able to sort that out. And in any case, it doesn't happen that often. It's really exciting to be able to have it on the Switch because now you can take your virtual worlds around with you in the real world. Of course, you could always do that with Pocket Edition or on the PS Vita, but having it in 60 FPS with a controller which is designed for this form factor, no need to buy special accessories for your iPad, this is built straight into the Switch, plus being able to dock and plug into your TV anytime you like, that is a really awesome feature. Hope you've enjoyed this very, very brief look at Minecraft on the Switch, looks great, and I'm, I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff. See you next time.